Hey guys, it's Mike Man the BBA here. Welcome back to episode three of Can't Stop Progress. We are here with uh, it's not a chapter, it's a special show. It's Progress versus Evolve live in Orlando. Let's get straight into the show. As we open up, as always, in front of 464 people at the Venue Nightclub in Florida, with Jim Smallman introducing the show, Progress vs. Evolve, live from Orlando. Only a 20 E- minus there. But uh, introducing the actual show, except for the fact that there is this happening. As some unfamiliar music is played, before Ricardo Rodriguez of WWE fame, obviously Alberto Del Rio's old ring announcer, appears and takes a microphone. He introduces the opening contest before introducing his client, Al Liguero. 34 E plus there for Ricardo Rodriguez. A lot of people probably haven't seen him for a while. Saw he was in the local list, thought it'd be quite funny having him introduce Al Liguero. Uh, as we go into our first match, a 44D, where in a decent match, Al Liguero defeated ACH, Fabian Eichner, Leo Rush, and Mark Andrews in 14 minutes and 14 seconds, when Al Liguero defeated ACH by pinfall with a Mexican splash. Unfortunately, ACH with uh, not a good gimmick there, although Leo Rush's was extremely good. Some very even in-ring performances there. I believe that's a 40 for ACH. A 48 for Al Liguero, 40 for, Le uh, for Fabian Eichner, 46 for Leo Rush, and a 41 for Mark Andrews. ACH improving his flying and performance. Leo Rush is a guy I've been looking at for quite a while. Uh, going to look to maybe bring him in in the future uh, for a couple of matches with people like Mark Andrews, people like Eichner, uh, Osprey maybe. He'll be someone we look to bring in in the future. Uh, 44D for that. And then our next match, the just a, an exhibition match uh, about that had subpar wrestling and little heat. Little heat. Nixon Newell defeated Kaylee Ray in 9 minutes 40 by pinfall with uh, the Vulture Culture Destroyer, which I, I believe is what she uses uh, in attack pro. Uh, Kaylee over 32, Nixon over 30 for a 33 E plus overall. Uh, if we go into our next match, uh, title versus title tag team match where Mustache Mountain defeated Catchpoint 1132 via disqualification when, well, Ring Camp came in and attacked Mustache Mountain. Uh, making Mustache Mountain make defence number two of their Progress Tag Team titles and uh, Catchpoint defending their title as well uh, just because of the disqualification nobody loses title, nobody gains title uh, probably should have checked the gimmicks a little bit here uh, Fred yeah, he got a very good, Tracy Williams with an awful unfortunately uh, Tracy Williams not the best in ring performance yeah, he with a 47 and Mustache Mountain both getting 42s uh, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I feel like uh, the gimmicks uh, help with your in-ring performance on this, possibly. The better your gimmick is, the better your performance is. Not really sure on that, though. Uh, 45D for that match. Uh, both tag teams retaining. As we go into our next match, a match that I would love to see in real life, personally. And I'm sure a lot of other people would. In a decent match, Sammy Callahan defeated Jimmy Havoc in 11.41 by pinfall with a headlock driver. This was a hardcore match, so no disqualifications, anything goes. Uh, Sammy Callahan picking up the win in 11.41. Uh, 44 for Jimmy Havoc, 54 for Sammy Callahan. Callahan improving his rumble skills, what you'd expect from a hardcore match. Uh, 45 D's decent for these two. It's a shame it isn't a little bit higher but uh, it's finding the balance between the, the popularities here. Maybe if that was in Britain, it would have done a bit better. You'd uh, benefit from Havoc's pop, and I think Callahan probably still has quite a bit of pop in Britain. 
Um, that's our next segment. Uh, in a match that I, I hoped would do a little bit better, but I'm not too surprised that it was a bit lower. Uh, a decent match. Matt Riddle defeats Jeff Cobb, Mr. Athletic, in 9 minutes 52 with a pinfall. Matt Riddle making defence number 2 of his Atlas Championship. Jeff Cobb debuting his badass gimmick, which got a great. Cobb with a 37, Riddle with a 36. Riddle, unfortunately, off his game. No improvements there, unfortunately. Uh, and then our next segment, Ricochet, obviously on the Evolve roster, comes out to the ring on the microphone. He calls out a member of the Progress roster. And who answers that call? None of her. Than the villain, Marty Skrull, who, where in a superb uh, a match that had superb wrestling and good heat, Marty Skrull defeated Ricochet in 1404 by pinfall. Uh, both Skrull and Ricochet have great chemistry together, showed in their performance, which is very nice. Marty Skrull with a 54 and Ricochet with an 81. Very impressive there from Ricochet. Uh, Marty Skrull improving his performance skills. 59C for that match. I think that's our best match so far of the series. I may be wrong there, uh, but I believe that's right. As we then go into our, our semi-main event for the Evolve title. Uh, about that had great wrestling and a decent reaction from the crowd. Zack Sabre Jr. defeats Will Ospreay in 13 minutes 17 by pinfall with Tiger Suplex. I know even though Zack Sabre Jr. is on the Progress roster, he is the Evolve champion, so that title was defended against a Progress talent. Osprey with a 60, Zack Sabre Jr. with a 62. 57C minus, just under the Ricochet Marty Skull match. As we go into our main event, unfortunately a little bit lower again, but in a good match, Pete Dunne defeated Drew Galloway in 30 minutes 51 seconds by pinfall with the bitter end. So Pete Dunne makes defence number 3 of his Progress Championship. Galloway with a 63, Pete Dunne with a 48. No work improvement sadly. And we end the show with a 52D+. Plus. So I think that's our best show. Uh, over in Florida, back to uh, good performances. We are going to praise Ricochet, of course, Marty Skrull, and Drew Galloway. I uh, have to say, I did sign quite a few of these people to contracts before I realised that I could have done some uh, trades with Evolve. Although, going back and looking, uh, some of the demands made by Evolve were... were uh, a bit extortionate, really. Uh, when I was asking about, they wanted, I think, 25000 to get Galloway on loan. Managed to get that down by giving them, I think I gave them Eichner on loan and maybe one or two other people. So Galloway is gone due to his loan ending. Uh, we lost a lot of money from that show, uh, being in America, having to ship the talent over. So maybe the next one or two shows will have to be a bit lighter in terms of the talent just to try and get some money up we'll uh, obviously have some of our main guys there but you yeah, may be seeing the likes of uh, the hunters jack sexsmith we might see uh, the series debut of roy johnson the body guy coming up people like chuck mambo and william eva might have to make appearances um if we look here to uh Oh, I meant to say I had to show play had to uh, have that show on the Monday again, so uh, I'll quickly show you WrestleMania. Although there wasn't really much to uh, be excited about, to be perfectly honest. Uh, if we look at the history, WrestleMania 33 pre-show, Simon Gotch defeated Rhino and Mojo Rawley defeated Mikey because for some reason he's still on the uh, roster. Uh, Mickey James defeated Nikki Bella in a just a normal match. Jay Uso, one of the uh, the current tag team champions in real life, I believe. I believe the Usos beat American Alpha. Um, although in this save, American Alpha are still champions. So why that wasn't a tag match, I don't know. But one of the Usos defeated Chad Gable. Connor went to a time limit draw with Apollo Crews, while his tag team partner Victor lost to Callisto. 
Jack Swagger defeated Jinder Mahal. Dolph Ziggler defeated Luke Harper at 79. That would be a good match. Alexa Bliss defeated Carmella to retain the SmackDown Women's title. Dean Ambrose defeated Jimmy Uso by DQ. Randy Orton defeated John Cena. That was a 90, the best show of the night. And the main event, Bray Wyatt defeated AJ Styles to retain the WWE World Championship title in an 81. So Styles getting his main event against Wyatt, uh, as he probably should have done in real life, you could argue. But a 79B for that WrestleMania. Not great by uh, WWE standards. But uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, and I will see you soon with chapter 47, which I don't believe is named as of yet. Uh, I don't think they've announced that. I think they might be announcing it as I record this tonight. Because uh, I'm recording this on the Monday, the 27th, I believe. Oh, they have, they have, uh, it does have a name. I think it must have been announced very recently or at the uh, the last show uh, so we'll see you very soon for chapter 47 complicated simplicity so thanks for now and i will see you guys soon <laughs>